Marcus Conti reporting on the tension of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, the Jew epidemic. <laughs> uh, so Donald, Day, John, Donald J. Trump, the president of these United States, has declared all Democrats anti-Semites. They hate the Jew. They hate Israel. They, they are, they are anti-Israel. They are anti-Jew. Let's hear the big man say it in his own words. Donald J. Trump, enter. I thought yesterday's vote by the House was disgraceful because it's become, the Democrats have become an anti-Israel party. They've become an anti-Jewish party. And I thought that vote was a disgrace. And so does everybody else if you get an honest answer. If you get an honest answer from politicians, they thought it was a disgrace. The Democrats have become an anti-Israel party. They've become an anti-Jewish party. And that's too bad. I thought yesterday's vote... Every day passes. And I, I, I'm, I got a little more disdain for this president, right? Every day passing, every, every opportunity to, to redeem himself, to, to, to fulfill his campaign promises to the, to the 60 million people that voted for him, Build a fucking wall. Lock her the fuck up. I was for all that stuff, right? Do all of it. But you're now he's turning into buffoon in chief. Now he's he's getting down in the mud with the Jewish lobby. I right, saying anybody who criticizes the the issue in Israel, the Palestinian Israeli tensions, right? Between the settlers, right? is uh, anti-Semitic, is an is a anti-Jew person, hates Jews, and hates Israel. Look, the problem in, in Gaza, not Gaza, but the West Bank, right, M- namely the West Bank, in Israel, is very complicated, right? Because in, in the 40s, British, the British ruled Israel, the Jews took over, right, made an, they, 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 they delegated properties to to the Palestinians that were there, the West Bank, Gaza, right? And that slowly has gotten gotten less and less and less, where the Palestinians only control less than 20% of the West Bank in total, right? So you got all these Jewish settlements piling into the West Bank. It's very complicated. So the idea of a two-party system in Israel, as every day passes, as every year clicks by, is becoming improbable because of the significant settlement, significant Jewish investment in the West Bank, right? Israeli, mostly Hasids, that that have gone in there and built beautiful communities, gated communities with their own schools, and and the Palestinians always continue to be a second-class citizen. Now, is that right? Okay, so that I'm not I don't want to talk about the solution, but if we were to postulate a solution. The two-state solution is becoming less and less. The real solution is to give the goddamn Palestinian people full citizenship, tear down these walls, and and uh, let's be a happy family already, right? Cut cut out the bullshit, right? That's really the solution. But you got you got President Trump now, fully on board with uh, it's racism. You know, it's now to criticize someone, to criticize political. Uh, uh, American politics that pertain to Israel is to hate the Jew. Uh, how offensive is that? That is fucking retarded, right? I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm not an independent. I'm nobody. I don't, I'm not going to vote. I probably won't vote anymore, really, to be honest with you, because I think it's, I think voting is a sham and a ripoff. You know, I don't support any one candidate. I support ideas. I support policy. That's what I support. That's who I am as a, as a as a journalist, as a human being, as an American. And what Trump is saying is is I don't know, it just seems backwards. It seems it's offensive. You know what I mean? Like it's it's uh it's it's a it's a foul uh offense to to play people so small. Uh, you're playing you're playing people small by saying that to, to, to look at the Palestinian problem, which many people see as an occupation, uh, a slow genocide where these the settlers keep piling into their property, giving them no room to breathe, 
And then, and then saying when they fight back, oh, I hate the Jew. Well, then give him full citizenship. Give him full citizenship. Marcus Conti reporting.